You guys, I got good news. I... Yep, I think I finished my mystery project. Sort of. I mean, I got the editing done. I need to do a screening still, uh, you know, let my wife watch it all the way through, and maybe some, uh, a couple friend or a friend or two, uh, see if I need to do any tweaks, but I think it's done. <sighs> Finally, oh my gosh. I am very excited. You guys, I don't know how happy that makes me. I've, I've never put this much time into one project. Um, just estimating how much time I put in just in the editing alone of this film. Oh gosh, um, I'd say I'd say probably 50 to 60 hours of editing. Um, maybe that's a little high. I don't know. We'll say 40 to 50 hours. But yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot because you know I did sound, I did uh, you know color corrections, um, you know the editing. The one thing I had to do in a couple different scenes, which was just so intensive, it took a lot of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. So only thing left I really need to do, like I said, is the screening, uh, watch it through, you know, once or twice. Uh, but I also need to do the thumbnail for it. I'm going to make it kind of like a, uh, anyway, you guys will see it. Um, but I got to figure out how to do that <laughs> because I don't have Photoshop. I don't have Adobe, uh, you know, Photoshop. I don't have Lightroom anymore. I used to have Lightroom, but it's, gosh, that's probably 10 years old, the software I had. So uh, I gotta try to find some good software because I want to kind of do a composite image type thing. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see. So hopefully anyway, in a couple of days, I'll have it premiered and out. So stay tuned. Super excited. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, it is loosely running related. Very loosely. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah. So um, other than that, this week has been crazy. Sorry for the very short poor videos, frankly, the last couple of days. I know this one's not much better other than the news of the mystery project being hopefully done. Uh, it's just been crazy. Monday, my wife, well, Sunday, really, Sunday night, but Monday, my wife started feeling really um, sick, just really a whole lot of pressure in her head. She just, she describes it as feeling uh, like underwater, like where your head just feels like a lot of pressure and it just wants to like explode. So Monday I took her to the local urgent care to get looked at. They thought she might have an ear infection. So they gave her a steroid shot and some other, some medicines. The steroid helped, but when that wore off, the medicines hadn't done anything. And she was still, today was really bad. She just did not feel good at all. Uh, a lot of high pressure. So took her to a different uh, doctor today, or far away, well far, like an hour away. They did a COVID test, they did a flu test. Uh, the flu test was negative, we're waiting on the COVID results. But we don't think it's COVID because she has no other symptoms whatsoever. You know, no fever, no respiratory issues, nothing. It's just the head. So uh, they think it might be like a sinus thing. She did have some fluid in there, uh, but anyway, so we'll see. But she's got some new medicine, hopefully it will help and she'll get feeling better soon. So it's just been crazy because that's been, with four kids, <laughs> it's been busy to say the least. So, you know, I didn't even do my run yesterday. Uh, I was going to try to make up for it today, but with having to take her to the uh, doctor, that was a good three, four hour, four hour, uh, you know, sidetrack. Uh, many thanks to my mom for watching the kids so I could do that, take her over there. I really appreciate you, mom. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, now that this is done, hope that I'll be get back to my more, uh, some different content. I do have a good run plan this weekend, depending on the weather. It is supposed to snow tonight and tomorrow. Uh, which shouldn't really affect my trail run Saturday, hopefully as long as my wife is feeling better, or uh, a little bit better at least. But tomorrow I'm supposed to do a pretty serious tempo workout, and that might be very difficult in the snow, so we'll see what the weather does. Uh, or I might have to do it on the treadmill. But anyway, that's what's up. That's the, uh, that's the deets on the project. But I appreciate you guys for being patient with me, hanging out the last couple of days. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes from everybody. The dinner with my wife was great. Um, you know, she was still not feeling great during then, but she was a trooper and, um, you know, went to dinner and we had a good time. So, yeah, but thank you guys. I do really appreciate you guys uh, for watching and hanging out. So if you haven't already, uh, I would appreciate if you would consider clicking that subscribe button and turn that bell notification on because then you'll get a notification when I do release my mystery project short film thing. So I'm still working on the name too. I've got a name in mind, but... 
it doesn't quite get the point across that I wanted to convey, so I'm trying to think of a better name. <laughs> think of a way to more portray what I want to. So, yeah, anyway. Anyway, enough talk. If you want to take a look at a beautiful trail run, over on this side is going to be uh, when I went out to Frozen Head, did the uh, hill work going up Old Mac. You can take a look at that. And over on this side will be a playlist of running tips and injury prevention. So take a look at that too. Thank you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.